Good day folks, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Got an email from one of my subscribers and he was asking how uh, many IP addresses you can put in a display filter and he wanted to put 50. He wanted to know if you could do that. I I'm sure you can, but I was explaining to him that there's many other ways to do that that's far more efficient. If um, Best case scenario, if the IPs are on the same subnet and they are contiguous, then you could get away with one line and one entry for your display filter and I want to show you how to do that. Um, the easiest way to do that is if I did ip.addr equals equals and I provide the subnet, in this case 10.1.94.0 slash 24, it will do a display filter for that. So let me just show you under statistics and endpoints that I've got far more addresses um, than the 10.1.94 and that's what I want to capture with that filter. So from here, I'm going to press enter and you can see that's what I'm left with. Now just be careful, I've got IP.ADDR so that's going to mean source or destination of course. So if you just wanted the source you could do IP.SRC right? and conversely destinations you can do that as well. But because I did 24 it's giving me the range of 0 through 255 if you will, right? Just giving you a literal range. But if I change that to 25 then I'll get the lower end of that range, the lower half of that range which, which would be 0 through 127 or literally it would be the addresses 1 through 126. So when I press enter on that you should see um, that will change as well, right? So I've lost a couple addresses. Let me just go back to 24 so I can show that to you because I went through that pretty quick. So the 129 came back, the 216 came back, and the 130 came back. You see that? So by just playing with that subnet you can define the ranges of what you're looking for. And of course you can bind these ranges if you wanted to do several different subnets. So quick trip, quick tip, and I hope you liked it. Have a good day. Bye for now.